I got to the point where I was realizing, and I said it a lot a few times, I know this is true, but probably one of my biggest fears is... Welcome to the vlog. I'm getting myself back into a full week of work. Yesterday I was really um, resting up, as you saw in my previous vlog. It was pretty a flat day, just laying low, trying to get ready for this week and recover on some sleep, that sort of thing. But as I've been doing work today, I've been thinking about a lot of different things, and I've been doing one thing that I seem to seems to be easy for me is connecting people together. So I had a couple of situations and scenarios that I was doing that. Always being a connector, I, I, I just love doing it. So, but the other thing I ran into today was a TED Talk that I did um, watch like probably two or three years ago. Came up in a conversation, but it's labeled Big Talk, and the whole discussion topic is how we should stop the small talk altogether and move right into big talk. I'll link it up here below somewhere up the top. But it, if, I find it interesting because that's. In my life, I have really deep conversations with one of the people around me, and I don't think I think it's somewhat abnormal or maybe more unique. And we skip some of the small stuff where we kind of go by it fast, but I still think there's an argument to small talk because it gains trust, creates a safety zone, so you can both sides feel like they can share openly and not feeling like uh, whatever they say is going to be taken against them or you know, like used against them in a bad way. They're just going to, going to feel safe. That's the whole idea of it, I guess. Or if you have nothing to say and you're in an elevator. Monday, Monday, it's college football championship tonight, which I don't necessarily care. I don't even have cable because I cut the cord many years ago now and I, I use Hulu, Netflix, and uh, over the air, HD over the air. Works phenomenal. Curious, do you still, uh, are you one of the four people in the world that still pay for the cable bill? Heading over to get Erica from volleyball. It seems to be a pattern, but she's doing what, a couple times a week now? It's actually not too bad on here. Erica's back from volleyball and she's already watching The Bachelor. <laughs> Got caught into it for a few minutes. Pretty nice. This is the most riveting episode ever. Stay tuned. Comic. It's actually comical if you listen to it. I got into this conversation earlier today about getting ahead in life and some of the steps that you want to take. You know, this is where I go into the lesson mode, I guess. But I got on my high horse and I started to just go into all this stuff. I got to the point where I was realizing, and I said it a lot a few times, I know this is true, but probably one of my biggest fears is being stuck stuck in a job or a relationship or a uh, in the city that I don't want to live in or you know some type of situation that you just feel. I remember this from when I was yay high and I fast forward to if you're to use a career as an example you feel stuck you don't have any options you're you're not growing and the only thing that you can control is your experience by working different jobs in the skills. They, they can never take the skills. They can take a job away, but they can't take your skills. Leadership, public speaking, confidence, looking people in the eye, talking to CEOs, high level people, all those things, if you're constantly working on that, you're going to have more and more value. And as you have more value, you have more options. Options over being stuck. And what I pictured as like about seven, eight different jobs. You have all these different jobs and they're all different skills. So you might have three of these skills over here, two of these skills over here, maybe one of these, and maybe your interest level is about the same. And then there's a couple in the middle, maybe one or not at all, on what route you'd like to go as far as a career, or making a career change or whatever it is. This is the example I was talking about. But if you have one solid skill like public speaking and able to negotiate or whatever, working with people and making sure you can make those connections, you could take that foundation, you could spread it over all of those. So any one of those career paths you could take that skill that you always have and you always are working on, you could put it right in there and you're already one of those skills that you need. But if you don't have any of those skills and you're feeling painted in a corner, you're not gonna have any of those and you're just, you're lost. Anyway, it was an interesting conversation. I was getting all excited and fired up and I just had to, I had to like take it to the vlog because it was an interesting topic. It's probably a topic that you might be struggling with or thinking about. If you don't wanna feel stuck, take everything that you can control and work on those skills every single day. Every day, every week, 
you should be working on these things. And even if you don't want to do it or you hate or you feel that you can feel it in your stomach, then guess what? Wait for it. Then you have to do it. The thing that you despise the most is the skill that's going to be the most powerful one that you can get past and use and put in your arsenal. A little dishwasher noise in the background. I don't know where these lessons come up sometimes, but just try to take what happens in my life and if it's something that I'm learning or I feel like I can maybe have something that valuable to share, that's what I'm going to do. On another note, I think I'm gonna maybe go to the gym tomorrow and join. I've been talking about that and I need to make that happen because my workouts have been pretty weak. I haven't figured out the heat thing yet. It's just time's getting away from me. That is the end of the vlog today. Until tomorrow, new lessons, experiences, and whatever else happens. Talk to you guys tomorrow.